All right, people. Today, uh, sorry, I had to stretch. I was getting ready to buy one of these voltmeters, and I mean, like before I bought this, and I always wondered how to hook them up. And I never really had anybody. I never seen no videos. Um, and uh, I figured I'd make a video today and show you how to do it. This one, I actually have two of them. I have one in this car, and I have one in my covered up Civic over there. Um, this one, I kind of have the wires uh, running under my carpet, except for here and up along the side over there, because I haven't had time to hide it. It's eventually probably going up in there. Um, and I have this one hooked up to a toggle switch. Uh, the one in my Civic is not hooked up to a toggle switch yet. And uh, I'm just going to show you this one real quick, and I'm going to show you how to do it on the other, on the uh, in the Civic, because it's a lot easier to explain because I don't have the wires hidden. Let me show you what I got here. You need power. Oh, I see him coming loose. Anyway, see, I have this hooked up to my toggle switch. Because at night time, uh, this thing is really bright. And I, um, I don't like driving with a bright blue light in my eyes. Um, you'll see down there, there is a, this one is also not connected. There's actually a, a blue, there's a black, little black wire under the blue. So, and a red. Really simple, red for power, black for ground blue for the remote just kind of like an amplifier Boop. I'm sitting at 12.6 with the vehicle off and this um, I run it to my amplifiers I want to know what the voltage is at my amplifier not the battery I want to see what my my amp seeing and I want to watch my volts <clears throat> at my amp so uh, let's go see my Civic and I'll show you how to hook this up very simple very simple Okay, it's kind of dark in the old Civic because I got it under the carport, but um, this is a pretty simple install. Um, here again, you have the, uh, mm, it's kind of hard to see, you have a, a red, the black one's hiding down there, same size as these, a red, black, and a blue. Power, ground, and remote. All you do to hook this to your amp, or you can hook it to your battery, it doesn't matter, um, I splice the red wire in with the power cord on the amp. You just stick it in your amp terminal with your uh, power. Same with the ground. That way, these wires will read what voltage your amp is seeing. Now, from what I found out, um, you cannot get this to work without a remote wire. Um, I couldn't anyway. Um, I did not have the remote wire hooked up. I'm just trying to test it to make sure it worked and I couldn't get it to turn on so I had to uh, hook up the remote wire um, what I did was uh, what you need to do is get other wires like these like these ones and um, just splice them together splice a uh, well they don't have to be red and black and blue I actually have a blue wire coming from all of them but I'm um, splice them together to make them longer. These are these are not long enough to run to your amp unless you put it right beside your amp. Um, I actually did a quick install on this car um, to, for to go to a show because I needed to watch my voltage. You can't see down there because it's black. But I actually have two wires running down through here. Now I have speaker wire. Do not do that. Um, this is just wire I had laying around. I didn't have any more regular wire. Um, this does work, but I don't really like it. Um, this right here is a power and ground. And I know this is going to make it a little bit more complicated for you to understand, maybe. But you probably don't have this running. See, I have distribution. I have blocks running. Not distribution blocks, but... Uh, power and ground blocks I have four grounds going in and four negatives going in and I have one neg uh, one positive coming out going to my amp and one negative coming out going to my amp now in my other car I actually have the wire running inside the amplifier 
with the power and ground. Um, these uh, are hard to get to and I would have had to take this all apart to loosen this up. So what I did was I just spliced it in on my uh, my copper blocks. And that one's going to my ground. Make sure you do not mix up your power and ground. Um, this one is my ground wire. Uh, I actually have a black piece of um, tape on here to show me. And that's my power. So it's showing me my voltage right here by my amp. In my other car it's actually showing it inside my amp. But it's pretty much the same. Um, but um, And then you need um, in my other car, sorry I'm trying to not make this too complicated, in my other car I actually have the remote wire um, sp spliced in with my remote wire to my amp and running up to my switch and through my switch to the um, voltmeter. In this one, I did a quick one and what I did was, oh come on focus in down there, damn it. Um, that's my floorboard. You cannot see. There's my finger. I actually have a blue wire running down there. You can faintly maybe see it. That's my remote wire. I actually ran it up and spliced it into my head unit. This was a quick install, remember. Um, I just spliced it into my head unit wire, my remote wire, because I, already, I have a remote wire coming out of my head unit. That's spliced into another one that goes to my amp to tell my amp to turn on. All I did was take this remote wire and stick it with those. So that way when my head unit comes on, it tells my amp to come on, and it tells my voltmeter to come on. So, uh, no switch, but I will be putting a switch in here because they are just bright. Show you what I'm talking about. Head unit comes on, voltmeter comes on. Amp is on. Beep. See? Yeah, kind of see a green light back there. It is actually that simple. Um, red for power, black for ground, blue for remote. Um, feel free to run it to your battery if you want. If you want to know, you watch your uh, voltage on your battery or by your amp. A lot of people like to do it at the amplifier so you can watch your voltage. You don't want your volts to drop too low. Um, it's that simple, people. I don't know how to make it any simpler, so I hope this helped. If it doesn't, comments are at the bottom. So, yep, have a good one.